Hello students, today we will learn about cyber tools. Millions and millions of computers with internet access communicate with each other round the clock. This shows the amount of activity happening on the internet which acts as a global network platform. The services available on net are colossal. Some of the basic and important services of internet are online chat, video conferencing, file transfer, cloud computing, online file storage and so on. Ok students, let me tell you about cloud computing. Cloud is defined as a set of hardware, networks, storage, applications and services combined together to deliver different aspects of computing as a service over a network or internet. Applications such as email, web conferencing, customer relationship management CRM all run in cloud. Salesforce, an American cloud computing company provides a CRM cloud software that addresses all the business needs of the customers. Cloud computing refers to manipulating, configuring and accessing the applications online without installing them. Moreover, this centralized storage, memory and processing allow efficient and cost-effective computing. It makes the business applications mobile and collaborative. Along with this, copyright violations and piracy have seen a sharp decline over the past few years as users, instead of using pirated software, can easily access the authentic content by paying a fraction of the total cost. Cloud computing is 100% secure and supports data confidentiality to use cloud computing facility. Thus, we can say that cloud computing is a model for enabling convenient and on-demand network access to a shared pool of computing resources. Example, networks, servers, storage, software applications and services that can be released with minimal efforts or service provider interaction. Online sharing. Online sharing is basically sharing a file with one or more users through internet. It involves storing and accessing a file such as documents, photos, videos, etc. on a cloud-based storage. Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox, etc. are some of the common examples of free or economical cloud storage for users. To share files on a cloud-based storage, users are first required to upload the file on the cloud server. Once the file is stored on the cloud, it is assigned a unique URL which the user can use to access, view, edit, download or share the file. Students, let's know more. Dropbox is another file hosting service operated by American company Dropbox Inc which has its headquarters in San Francisco, California that offers cloud storage. It was founded in 2007 by MIT students Drew Hostin and Arash for Dowsey. Students, let's talk about Google Drive. Google Drive is a free online storage service provided by Google that allows you to store files securely on a cloud with an internet connection. You can access your files anytime and anywhere from any device such as computer, smartphone or a tablet using the cloud. Google Drive provides 15 GB of free online storage that enables you to store all kinds of files and documents on it. You can store unlimited amount of photos, drawings, recordings, videos, attachments, text documents and much more. Google Drive not only stores your files but also gives access to free web-based applications for creating documents, spreadsheets, presentations and more. It also allows users to share files and folders, edit documents in a collaborative way which enhances the efficiency and productivity. Students note that the Google Drive can be accessed offline on the Google Chrome browser via a Chrome app which can be installed from the Chrome Web Store. Google also offers various storage plans with a monthly subscription. Storage capacity of Google Drive can be increased from 100 GB to 30 TB. Students, let us know more. Google Drive was launched on April 29, 2012. The web version of Google Drive is available in 105 languages. Students, let me explain you that how to upload files on Google Drive. To upload a file, Sign in your Gmail account. Go to the Google Apps Launcher. 
select the drive icon. The Google Drive window opens. To upload a file to your drive, choose the Upload Files option from the My Drive drop-down list. Or click on the New button and select the file upload. An open dialog box appears. Browse and select the files you want to upload and then click on the Open button. The pop-up window appears notifying the uploading status of your document. Once completed, the uploaded files will appear in your Google Drive folder. Similarly, you can upload a folder either by clicking the Upload Folder option from the My Drive drop-down list or by selecting the Folder Upload option from the New button. The Browse for Folder dialog box opens. Select the folder that you want to upload and click on OK. Once you upload the files to Google Drive, you can manage, organize, share and access them from anywhere. You can also edit your files online, but for that it is required to convert them to Google Drive format. Let me give you a tip. You can also drag and drop the files and folders to the Google Drive folder. Students, let's talk about OneDrive. OneDrive, previously known as SkyDrive or Windows Live SkyDrive, is a free online storage facility offered by Microsoft. As the name suggests, it is a single place where you can store all your photos, videos, documents and much more in an organized manner and that too free of cost. It allows users to specify the files they want to keep private, share with contacts or make public. It is a password-protected storage area in the cloud that allows users to upload and synchronize data to cloud storage and then access it from the web browser anytime. It works well on all devices like PC, Mac, Android and iOS. Microsoft offers 5 GB free storage space to all its OneDrive users. It provides various other storage plans to upgrade the storage space. Students know the fact. In February 2014, SkyDrive was officially renamed as OneDrive. OneDrive is also available as a pre-installed app on Windows 10. To access OneDrive in Windows 10, click on Start, then go to scroll down to OneDrive. The Microsoft OneDrive window will open. Enter your Microsoft email address and click on Sign In button. Enter the password and click on Next. The location of your OneDrive folder is displayed on the screen. You can change the location of this folder by clicking on the Change Location button. Click on Next button. Click the checkbox in front of Sync All Files and Folders in My OneDrive. This will automatically save all your files and folders on OneDrive. Click on the Next button. Your OneDrive is now ready for use. To open OneDrive folder, click on Open My OneDrive folder button. To add any of your files to OneDrive, drag them to your OneDrive folder. Once uploaded to OneDrive, you can work in collaboration on your documents by sharing them with multiple people. Students, let me share a tip. If you want to upload only the chosen files, then just select and drag them to the OneDrive folder. Students, let's know more about Windows 10. The All Apps option has been omitted in the Windows 10 Anniversary Edition. Now you can look for various applications directly by clicking the Start button. Alright students, let's talk about Google Maps. Google Maps is a free web mapping service that provides various types of geographical information. It offers real-time traffic conditions and step-by-step -step directions to reach a destination by any mode of transportation. It also renders satellite view, user-submitted photos, 360 panorama and street view, thereby making it an interactive way to learn about different places all over the world. It is accessible through your web browser or as an app for mobile devices. While using Google Maps on smartphone, you get even better direction. If there is a traffic congestion on your way, it will suggest an alternative route. 
Apart from finding the way, Google Maps provide a lot of information about different places built right into the map. For example, you can look up the address of a local ice cream shop by just searching for its name. You will be able to see even the closing time of the shop and grab a link to the website. Unlike a paper map, Google Maps is not limited to one state or country. In fact, it provides maps for almost every country in the world. Students, let's know more. Mobile version of Google Maps was released for Android devices on September 23, 2008. To determine the location, Wi-Fi and cell-based cellular services along with the GPS capability of the device are used. OK, let us find out how to use Google Maps on your desktop. Visit the link maps.google.com or conduct a search on Google for the name of a location. Various links to Google Maps will appear. Select the link. It will move the location pointer to the destination point. Click and drag the map to view the area and get an idea about the route to be followed. You can click on the zoom button at the lower right corner to zoom in the image and get a better view. To view the location in satellite view, click on the Earth View button present at the lower left corner. Students know that to make use of Google Maps on your smartphones, click on the Google Maps app. Select directions and enter your starting point in My Location. Choose the destination and press the search button. It will display the route. In 200 meters, make a U-turn. Head north. OK, students, let us take a recap of this chapter. Google Drive is a free online storage service provided by Google that allows you to store files securely on a cloud with an internet connection. OneDrive, previously known as SkyDrive or Windows Live SkyDrive, is a free online storage facility offered by Microsoft. Cloud is defined as a set of hardware, networks, storage applications and services combined together to deliver different aspects of computing as a service over a network or the internet. Google Maps is a free web mapping service that provides various types of geographical information.